Hey everyone, uh, today I found this really cool feature from Ubuntu, or at least it's cool for me, which is called Zoom. No installation is required. Before I start, I'll show you which version I am in. Click the settings and um, go down to the details and in here I'm in Ubuntu 18. Go back again and navigate to universal access and here is the zoom functionality or the feature let me just close that one and there is this always show universal access menu if I turn this on you'd see it has this easy access icon on top of my screen and what this does it, what this does is it provides um, easy access for the zoom and a bunch of stops as well um, but what is more convenient is we can tie the zoom and this um, this access to a keyboard binding and that is by navigating to um, devices keyboard and let's scroll down till we reach um, this one universal access and let's set up a binding for um, for turn on zoom and off on it on or off uh, I'll just select control alt 0 and you can uh, you can change whatever you like which key combination is more convenient to you and then you can also set zoom in I'll just bind it to control alt 9 click set bind zoom out control alt 8 click set and again um, you can set with whatever key you prefer go back and let's click the universal access and click the zoom again um, and then hmm. there is no uh, a specific setup for everyone well that is obviously because everyone or every user has its own preferences uh, you can use it like this I'll set this to 1 then control alt 0 to turn it on and nothing happens uh, because the magnification is 1 some user prefer it like this and the way they zoom zoom in the the screen is by pressing the control alt 9 or the zoom in function and you can go a little further by pressing the same key a couple of times and that's pretty cool and then I can go back by pressing the F control alt F8 or zoom out and that's it and then you can also specify which part of screen you like to magnify let's say I'll set this to 2.0 um, let's say um, I'll turn on this follow mouse cursor and I'll select full screen and that is what it is now then if I select top half you can see that the curse the magnifier is moving along with the cursor and same as with the bottom half um, top half and bottom half is the same it's because uh, we have this enabled follow mouse cursor and left half as well and right half cool and then um, I can I can also position the magnification at a fixed area and that is by enabling the screen part let me just bring this um, back to full screen and select this screen part and then now I'm gonna select the top half and you can see that the uh, the magnification area is fixed on top half and then bottom half and so on left and right as well 
let me just bring it back to full screen and now I can also magnify uh, magnif I can also magnify to um, I can also enable this magnifier extends outside of the screen uh, what this does it will uh, include a border or the outside of the screen that one I'll disable that one and then I can also keep the magnifier cursor centered which of course uh, this the, the cursor is always on the center and then I can also say um, magnifier cursor pushes pushes contents around you can see the cursor move freely and then if once it reach the sides it will begin pushing to show the other part of the screen and uh, the last one is the magnifier cursor moves with content this is just the same with the follow mouse cursor except for that it can be used on a fixed screen like this one top half you can see that magnifier cursor moves with contents and that's pretty much it for this one and then hmm. Um, there is also a crosshairs options for snipers out there and uh, I'll click this crosshairs and I'll turn this on and let you see what I mean it's really cool and then you can also uncheck this overlap mouse cursor I can adjust the thickness then I can also um, expand the length And then I can customize the color. Oops. And then uh, it also has these color effects. Let me turn this off for a little while and I'll say I'll go to the color effects tab and you can enable this uh, white on black. It's just it's just inverting the colors. And then you can also set a specific brightness um, for uh, whenever your zoom is enabled. See here. If I disable that one, it go back to this uh, the old um, brightness. And if I enable that, you see that the brightness has, the brightness and contrast has adjust adjusted. So these options on color effects uh, only triggers if your zoom is enabled. And um, that's it. You can play with it till it match your needs. Uh, but for me, as I'm making YouTube videos, I'd like it to be as simple as this. I'll bring back the contrast to default and the brightness. And then I don't want any crosshairs and I want my magnification to be on 2.0 and I also want this uh, option follow mouse cursor um, the reason for that is if I'm recording something on my screen and I want to highlight something it is as easy as hitting the control alt zero or the binding for that uh, zoom on and off like this one cool and there it is that's it and thank you and goodbye